Welcome to Kiwi Tier Street for this ASB Premiership Round 15 clash between Auckland City FC and Waitakere United. It's a fine day here in Auckland, a bit blustery, for this 50th Super City Derby clash between the two. Auckland fans in fine voice as the teams introduce themselves. Auckland City today have the luxury of bringing in two new All-Whites into their team. Sam Burfoot and Ryan DeVries, both called up for the All-Whites um, to face Korea Republic in a friendly. And former Rangers player um, Andrew Milne into the team this week um, replaces Angle Berlanga, who's rested with a slight niggle. But otherwise, it's a familiar Auckland City lineup for this clash. Waitakere United have a former, uh, couple of former Auckland players, David Mulligan, Chris Bale, both back at Kiwi Tia Street, and coach Brian Shelley uh, resumes his player coaching role in uh, Heart of Defence. Auckland City line up with a familiar 4 3 3. They'll be looking to um, show what they did in the last couple of games and really um, show that they're going to um, be a real team to struggle to beat when it comes to the, the finals. Iwata with the ball down the line to David Brown. Waitakere clear. Good pressure by Ryan DeVries. Slack play by Waitakere, hands the ball back to Auckland. Ball comes in. Oh, that's going to be a foul. That should be a yellow card. Carrillo with a shot. Oh, that's a stunner. Ivan Carrillo. He's making a real name for himself with free kicks for Auckland City, and that's another beauty. 1 0 to Auckland in the ninth minute. And on the balance of play, it's probably something they deserve. You look in the replay, right into the top left-hand corner. Keeper Alex Carr was nowhere near it in the end, and a stunning start for Auckland. Brown with the ball inside. De Vries with a shot, but it's easily gathered by Carr. Perfect with the ball in midfield. Oh, the referee was play on. Perfect feeds Iwata. Iwata and Brown link again. Return ball into Iwata. Oh, the cross is deflected over the bar. Great play by De Vries again. Finds Carrillo, cross the ball. Oh, it's so close. David Brown, and then, oh, shocking miss by Sam Burfoot. His eyes would have been lighting up with that chance, and it's went straight over the bar. He'll be disappointed with that. Auckland continued, continued to press, looking by far the better team at the moment. David Brown with the ball through. Oh, that, that's a shocker. That's got to be a penalty, surely. The referee hesitated. He looked at the linesman. I think the linesman may have given that one. It looked a clear cut penalty in first, in first glance here. Alex Carr booking, um, picking up a booking there. I think he can have no complaints about that. Brian Shelley doesn't look too impressed. Here's the penalty. Oh, it's a shocker off the post. Oscar Garcia sent the keeper the wrong way, but could only hit the woodwork. Even Carrillo with a great play again. He's really m making it difficult for Waitakere. But it breaks down and Waitakere clear again. 
Milne defending. Therese Richards couldn't find the back of the net there. Ocon City on the on pressure again. Can they get another goal before half time? As always, Auckland looking comfortable with the ball, playing it around, just looking for those gaps in the Waitakere defence. Nice interplay again for Auckland. Ball spread out left. Brown with the ball, chips over. And again, and oh, just pass from David Brown. That probably deserved a, a goal. Great play there from the young Auckland star. Barfoot with the ball. Feeds it out. Good, good play by Auckland again, holding on to the ball. Vissalich with a chip in. And the free kick's awarded to Waitakere. Good play down the left by Waitakere. The ball comes in. But he can't test Tamati Williams in the Auckland City goals. Ivan Carrillo making a use of himself. Out to Ivan Vissalich. Auckland have the throw. Another chance maybe before half time. No, the referee blows his whistle. 1 0 to Auckland at half time, and uh, Ramon Trebuliac will be happy with uh, how his team have played in the first half, even though they haven't managed to add a second goal. Um, Waitakere have only had a couple of half chances, both been easily taken by Tamati Williams. Walking in there, Ivan Carril, number 13, another stunning goal to add to his Auckland collection, and he been a real find for Auckland City. Second half, Waitaka United will be looking to uh, hopefully press Auckland a bit more, hold on to the ball, um, get a bit more possession and hopefully uh, manage to get a goal or two and, and actually get a win over Auckland this year. They lost the first game 1-0 at Fred Taylor Park. Second half, Auckland again content to play possession, looking to push Waitakere up. Quick free kick from Waitakere United. But Andrew Milne steps in, breaks down the right, feeds David Brown, or well feeds Oscar Garcia, sorry, to Burfoot. And then he's bundled in the back. I'm not sure what they're complaining about. It was a clear, clear free kick. And Ivan Vislich had something to say there. Free kick from... Oh, it's off the post. I think the keeper got a hand to that. Denied Ivan Kirill again. Another free kick. Waitaka well, will be happy to see the back of Kirill today. The ball's back with Williams to Milne. And back to Tamati Williams again. The ball's cleared. Dryden De Vries is in a bit of trouble here. He looks like he's taking a knock to the face. Let's hope this isn't too serious for the new All-White. He looks in some distress here. The physio comes on. The ref's getting some pelters from the Auckland players. Walking again down the left. David Brown's cutting in and he's taken out. A yellow card, an easy decision there. Brian Shelley booked. The player coach will have to watch out. He's on a yellow card now. The ball in, but it's easily cleared by Waitakere. Oh, Ivan Carril, a bit of revenge there perhaps. And he's the next Auckland player to be, get booked. Hey, 
Well, Waitaki have hardly had a shot in Auckland's goal. Uh, Auckland are dominating. Can they do something here? They open up some space. And a shot, but Tammany Williams gathers a second attempt. Here's player coach Brian Shelley makes his way off the park. Coming on for Waitaki, Alex Solomons. He's got to push out to the right of defence. Well, can continue to build, looking for that killer second goal. Vislich to Brown. Brown looking on his left. Finds Garcia to Milner on the overlap. Ball in, oh. And Moreira, Moreira, oh, Moreira should have scored there, but Waitaki keeper gathers at a second attempt. Unlucky for the, for the striker. Iwata with the ball. Pass it back. Oh, and Moreira held back there. Alex Solomon making an impact as soon as he's come on as a substitute. The ball comes in from Waitakere, across the box, over hit, comes in again to the back post, but Auckland clear. And, oh, that looked a nasty one. And it's a man who's just come on, Solomon's with his second foul in just as many minutes. And the referee, yeah, I think he pulls out, he's got to pull out the yellow card here. I don't think uh, Alex Solomon can have any complaint about that. The boot was high, he caught the City player and yeah, really made that easy for the referee. Williams with the long ball. Moreira with the header. Oh, great skill by Moreira. Oh, that's a shocker. It's Solomons again. He's got to be in trouble here. He's going to walk for that, I think. David Brown's down and looking badly hurt. A second yellow for Solomons and he's off. Just a couple of minutes left. You can really have no complaints about that decision. In fact, he may be lucky that it wasn't a straight red card. You can't go through the back of players like that in today's game and expect not to pick up a caution. He seems uh, unhappy with the decision, but I, I uh, can't see why he's complaining. He takes a long trudge off Kiwitia Street. And that should surely be enough for Auckland to sew up this game. Brown getting a bit of treatment. Let's hope, yeah, let's hope he's okay. Watakari on the attack. Can they secure a late goal? Chris Bale with Sean. Oh, brilliant save by Tamite Williams. Spectacular from the Auckland, former Auckland City man. But Tamite Williams was the measure of him. You see the flags blowing at Kiwitia Street. And there's the final whistle. Another victory for Auckland City. 1-0 over Waitakere United. A stunning first half strike from Ivan Carrillo with a free kick just outside the box. A missed penalty from Oscar Garcia. Could have uh, sealed it earlier for uh, Auckland. Alex Solomon sent off late for uh, Waitakere United. You can have no complaints about that but a 25th Super City Derby win for Auckland and the 50th Super City Derby clash. And uh, I imagine um, coach Ramon Terulic is happy with that. It was a little bit testy at times, some interesting tackles in there. But at the end of the day, Auckland have won again uh, and that's surely good going into the finals. The one final match in the league, um, that's against Phoenix Reserves in Wellington next week, the only team to have won Acuity Street this year. Next, let's have let's hear with um, let's hear from Ivan Vislich and what he had to say. Ivan, uh, a derby victory uh, in the fiftieth Super City derby between Auckland and Waitakere, but it, it might have been by a few more goals. What were your views of uh, the match today? Yeah, I thought we played uh, quite well. I thought we created chances uh, in the first half. Unfortunate not to 
Sam Burford to score from six yards and uh, also a penalty against the post. So, you know, going in at halftime, I thought we could have been uh, ahead by more goals. But, you know, look, we, uh, we hung on to the 1-0 victory and uh, I think the boys uh, played well and did well to hang on to that 1-0. Where does this uh, lead the team now? Obviously in a rich vein of form, one more away game to complete the rounds and, and then the playoffs just around the corner. Yeah, important game. We had a weekend off last weekend and uh, very important for us to come back here and, and put in a good performance. Uh, always difficult. You know, we've tied up the minor premiership, so uh, the points for us were not as important as other teams. So the mentality of the team needed to be 100% today. And I think we, we proved that, so that's great. And, you know, good to get another win leading up into the playoffs. The match became a bit trickier for Auckland City after Waitakere went down to 10 players. They had two really good chances near the end uh, to maybe snatch a draw. Yeah, look, they uh, they just bombed on and knocked a couple of long balls into the box and, you know, anything can happen, rebounds can happen. And, uh, you know, Tamadi's made an absolutely superb save to keep it out. So it goes to show that we, we really need to put away those chances that we get early on in the game to uh, to make the, the win more comfortable. Now, with one more uh, league game to go, that, that can be a bit of an awkward time for any any team already qualified. Do, do you think that uh, maybe the coach might rest a few players or want to keep the momentum? I think we'll, uh, we'll try to keep the momentum. I think... Uh, you know, we've had a weekend off last weekend, so it's good to get a, a minute under the belt for the players and keep uh, hopefully another victory next week or at least another tough game, you know, leading up to the playoffs. It's going to be uh, another tough game as it was today against Waitakere. They were, you know, they were desperate for the points and, and they played very well today and, and pushed us to the limit. So uh, we'll probably expect that next week as well. Ramon, uh, congratulations on the victory. How did you see today's game? Look, I think we we knew it was going to be difficult for us, you know, to match their intensity because they were fighting for a spot in the playoffs, and we've already qualified. It's a derby, so it's one of those difficult games to play. You know, we obviously we're not in the right mindset in some respects, but I think we tucked in quite well, and uh, in the first half, especially, we created uh, some very clear chances that had we put away. You know, I think the game would have been safer in the end. In the end, we had to defend. They were throwing everything at us. Obviously, they were trying to achieve that spot in the playoffs or achieve the uh, at least a point you know that would help them keep the battle going on you know and mm. it was difficult you know was, we got a bit physical but you know we did the job so we've got to be happy with that we didn't concede again at home you know and that's a good sign I think we were understanding after a few games conceding uh, consecutively you know I think we're understanding how we have to play these games you know to keep our our goal goal uh, goal less you know? so I'm happy especially for that for the way we play you know? After Waitakere went down to 10, they uh, created just a couple of chances at the end there and, and Tamari Williams pulled off a brilliant save. Yeah, a few throw-ins straight into the uh, box, you know, and especially Lalo's, uh, Chris Bale's uh, bicycle kick, you know, it could have gone in. I mean, this is the part of the game, I think, at the end of the day, once again, have we, uh, you know, capitalised on the uh, clear opportunities we had in the first half, the penalty, two or three one-on-ones with the keeper, you know, it would have been a different story, but we gave him that lifeline, you know, and they, they obviously they, they pushed him till the end. You know, the game is like that sometimes, you know, we, you know, we have to be happy that we, again, you know, we did the job and, you know, we, we just got to tune up now because uh, what's coming uh, after next week, Sam, you know, it's, it's going to be a different competition and different mentality as well. Yeah. And, and we need to regain our maximum uh, sort of intensity and mindset, you know, to face those playoffs the best way. Ramon, do you now, with one game to go, rest players or do you want to keep the momentum going uh, into the playoffs? It's hard to say, you know, because if you rest players and uh, they lose some uh, sort of intensity, some, some uh, the, the form, you know, the state of form, uh, you can lose it, you know. Obviously, there's a few niggles and that's in part what we did today with Angel Delanga and uh, and D Darren White, you know, both uh, they've got a couple of niggles in there and we need to look after them, you know, because after, right after the uh, the National League we've got the uh, Champions League coming up in Fiji and it's going to be a very intense and difficult one as well, you know, so we need to look ahead of us and uh, but still we if we don't compete uh, in this next game, you know, uh, we're not going to be ready for the playoffs and so we're going to make sure that we keep playing the game the same way and, and try to once again climb up in terms of intensity to prepare ourselves for that semi-final.